Today, I'm at one of the most beautiful racetracks in all of Southeast Asia, KK Circuit, which is located in the hills of the Prechaburi province here in Thailand. I'm here for Group A Track Day, which is a track event for cars from the 1970s, 80s, and 90s. This racetrack is absolutely stunning. One of the most beautiful racetracks I've ever been to in my life. And today, it's full of retro track cars. How good is today going to be? And yes, of course, cream pie is in the house. For those that don't know, this is my BMW E30, fully restored using a Pandem wide body kit and powered by an S65 four liter V8 and six speed manual transmission. I'm gonna try to get this thing out on the track today. I just gotta make it happen. So there's basically two sections of this event. There's the car show version over there, and then this is the track day. So my plan is what we're gonna do is we're gonna walk through the paddock, check out some of the cars that are actually going on track, and then we'll head over to the car show. Guys, look at all these Corollas. Like these things are incredibly clean. When I was at the Cars and Coffee event, hosted by the Classic Car Club of Bangkok, just like last week. I saw a lot of these Corollas. Of course, you can't go to any racetrack in the world without seeing some Porsche 911s. And these air-cooled 911s right here are freaking beautiful. Wow. Um, I didn't expect to see these here, to be honest. Definitely a pleasant surprise. I don't know what this guy's doing here crashing the party with this brand new 911. This E30, it's freaking sick. This is actually owned by a buddy of mine and it's another wide body E30 that has a V8 swap. And look at this, an RWB. You have an actual RWB here today. I hope I get to see this thing on track. People say RWBs are just show cars. Here in Thailand, they actually track these cars. I guess this guy's getting ready to go out. He's got it, look at this. A Z31 track car. When's the last time you've seen one of these? And it looks like it's built pretty proper. And of course you have some EG Civics here since they do fit into that 90s theme. And a lot of people ask me about like what type of car you should buy. Like if you're a car guy and you're coming to Thailand, what type of car should you buy on a budget? And I always really recommend three cars. The BMW E30, E36, E46, technically that's three cars. A Severo, and then also one of these. The EG hatches, you can get a really, really nice built EG hatch here for under 10,000 US dollars, which is very rare to get a cool car in Thailand under 10 grand. I am super excited to see this E36 here. This is one of my favorite BMW builds in all of Thailand. Normally, I'm not really an E36 guy, but the stance on this one and plus the power plant makes it so freaking badass. Check out the decal on the wing. That'll give you a little hint. Next to whatever the hell this crazy race car thing is, is the guys from Auto Works. I should have known I was gonna see them here. They specialize in like exotic cars. They modify Ferraris and Lambos and McLarens. But the guys that work at the shop, they love E36s. And this is their lineup of E36 track cars. All day, they modify and tune McLarens and some of the craziest cars you're gonna see in Thailand. And on weekends, they're out in their old crappy BMWs doing track days. I freaking love it. I really think something like this is my next project car here in Thailand. Don't get me wrong, I love cream pie, but something like this that you can take out on the track and just beat the ever living crap out of it. Exactly, full send only. And just not care? Anyway, like I was saying, something like this is definitely next for me here in Thailand. I just want a car I can take out to the track, beat the shit out of it, and not care. Okay, I think that is most of the paddock. Let's go over to the car show section because there's a lot of cars here today that are not actually going on track, but they are epic retro cars. Next to Cream Pie is another EG hatchback track car. Super cool, great car for the money. 
And then next to that is Hing's R30 Skyline GTR. This thing is mint condition, fully restored, and very tastefully modified. And then next to the GTR is a super clean, like retro Honda Accord race car. This thing, I don't know, I mean, it's just a four door Accord, but it's freaking cool. So the VIP section that I was just at is all the way down there. And what I don't get is why these are not parked in the VIP section, because what the hell, these Mercedes 190s are some of the sickest retro Benzes I've ever seen in my life. I love the AC Delco Rally Edition. Look at these two. Oh my God, that is so freaking sick. Did you notice that the yellow one has T37s? Really? Of course, TE the world. Bro, insane, totally insane. Probably my favorite cars here at KK Circuit and Group A track day so far. But obviously there's a ton of other cars participating in the meet and just hanging out. So let's go check them out. Three absolute legends, the AE86, the Toyota Super, and the MR2. And the MR2 is one of those cars that they do here in Thailand, like extremely, extremely well. Some of the nicest MR2s on planet Earth are here in the country of Thailand. Next to the MR2s is a Volvo race car. Remember in one of my recent videos, I said that Thailand, they just have this thing when it comes to Volvos. They love these cars for some reason, more than probably any other country on earth outside of Sweden. Definitely a cool event in an epic location full of a bunch of dope cars. I'm gonna try to get cream pie out on track. Before I do that, look, EK Civic and Evo 5. Very nice. Let's see if we can go get some seat time in. The problem is I don't have a helmet, so I gotta find a helmet, then make sure that I'm okay to get out on track. We'll just go have a little bit of fun. I'm not gonna go super hard. Don't expect me to be like Chris Harris drifting around corners and shit, because it's not happening. Guys, I seriously screwed up. I'd already started cream pie. I was about to go out and play, but I don't have a helmet. I mean, I do have a helmet, but it's about 9,000 miles away in Atlanta. I need to buy a helmet here in Thailand so I can go do track days. So I can't take cream pie out currently, but soon we're going to have the parade lap where all the cars go out together and just play around just a little bit. And no helmet is needed for that. So coming soon, stay tuned. Okay, so basically the deal is everybody's parked here on the start line at KK Circuit and well, it's safe to say that Cream Pie is in very, very good company. I love these Porsche Carrera S's. And then right in front of the two Carreras is the RWB. And then the badass V8 BMW E30 race car. Like a real race car, not like a fake race car like mine. Now that we've done our photo op here on the starting line, it's officially time to go for a drive. Let's do this thing. Look at that lineup, dude. Look at this lineup of all these like retros, 70s, 80s, 90s cars. So freaking cool. Yeah, I think this is just going to be a massive traffic jam to be honest, but it's all good. At least I have gotten to say that I have driven the KK Circuit here in Petrobury. Such a cool track, man, it's just, Visually, from a photography and a videography standpoint, it is hands down the most beautiful track here in Thailand and possibly all of Southeast Asia. And once I get a legit track car that I don't give a shit about, I am going to be back at this track for sure. I hope you enjoyed my video of Bridgestone's Group A track day here at KK Circuit. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting me, and I'll see you in another YouTube video very soon. Peace.